Happy fifth anniversary, AFOs! Woo! Woo! This is what quarantine has done to me. I put hats on them. Let's just think about that. This year is kind of big for me because it's been five years since I got my first set of AFOs. My first set of AFOs are on the other side of the room though, they weren't invited. So this video, I'm going to talk about some progress that has been made. I am keeping these guys in the back because I think it's funny. Anyways, AFOs. So AFOs was never a treatment that was being used for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This was never an option a few years ago. Especially one for pronated ankles. Wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't too much of a concern until recent about pronation of the ankles. I, I really, I don't, I have no idea. I'm not a doctor of any sorts. There is something called an SMO where it's just made for joint instability of the ankle. I cannot get those because my knees and hips. I wish I could, I tried. So I do have pronated ankles, um, as you can see pretty bad in this first picture I'm gonna show you from 2015. That was when I went to go get my first set, which are not the set that you can see here. And I went through several custom orthotics. Everyone thought I had feet problems. I had to wear these OTC ankle braces every single time I did anything besides walking. When I was in marching band, I had to wear two different ankle supports, especially on my one leg. I couldn't get through a show or even a practice without wearing something on my ankle. It was so bad. I had an arch until I stood up and then I had a collapsed arch. The moment I put pressure on not only that a collapsed arch, my ankles pronated inwards and it caused, I mean, it would cause pain and then I just wouldn't feel it and then I would get injured. We kept trying to fix my arch problem instead of the ankle pronation problem. I think I did get diagnosed with developmental hip dysplasia at 16. My hips do sublux, my one knee is worse than the other. I have pedofemoral syndrome in one of my knees and they both hyperextend. Again, one of them is worse than the other. <laughs> It wasn't until after I graduated high school that the doctors collectively were like, oh, maybe it's not the arch of your foot and it's your ankle. <laughs> now I still do have the same foot doctor. It was a learning curve. I mean, I love her. It was a learning curve and it was a legit like, let's see if this works. It, pretty much I got my first pair. The place treated me not that great. They didn't think I had a good enough raisin. Something happened with the molds. They made every ounce of the process difficult. Then in 2016, I got sent to a different place because those were doing nothing for me. That's the place that I still go to today. That's where I got both of these. The pictures I'm gonna show you guys is 2015 when I first went to first place. We added the middle diagonal strap right at the end of my year with them. I think I was like nine, 10 months in when we officially added that middle diagonal funky little strap. And then in 2016, that picture was taken only a few months after I got the red set from the newer place. 2017, seeing that and being able to take them off and my whole leg not fully collapse has been absolutely amazing. That diagonal strap for some odd reason has been holding up my leg. We have yet to fully figure that out. I think there's gotta be some, I have my own theories about a ligament that's just overstretching and that is actually holding it where it needs to be, but that's just my theory. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a doctor. And this was actually just taken in 2020. No, I do not have 2018 and 2019 because I forgot I wasn't thinking of doing a video like this at all. So here's some progress of things that I can now do that I can't, couldn't do before. I can now walk longer distances. I use forearm crutches only when I need to, which is not as often as I used to. I went to Longwood Gardens during the winter this year and barely used my crutches. I was really impressed with myself. I can run, can run on a treadmill. This, this is insane. That was something I was never able to do. My hips would not be in place when I would run. They would sell bucks in and out of place. It was disgusting because um, I could hear it. And then my ankles would be killing me. I can take about a day of not having to wear them now. And I'm not saying it's the best idea. I just, I wear them so much sometimes. I have days where I'll wear them for till 14, 
16 hours and I, I will take a day off where I just gotta wash myself just being able to stand <laughs> just being able to stand is great question I do get is do I exercise with them on yes and no when I go to the gym, longboard, if I go to physical therapy or martial arts classes, I wear my green ones. Those are like my sportsy, sportsy. The only thing that's different, I kid you not, about those two, it has a little stabilizer on the bottom so I can stand without shoes on. I stand better with shoes on, but I can only push my foot a little bit further. But if I do anything at home, if I put a weight on my ankles and I do that at home, uh, I don't wear them because I wanna still exercise those muscles and I'm still trying to strengthen those muscles. With me already working out with them on, I already know that I'm working the muscle, but I'm not working the muscle past a 90 degree angle. <laughs> so I have to work the muscle past a 90 degree angle and I'm doing it as well as I can at home. Another thing that people say is that they are sorry that I have to wear these. And they feel bad that I need to put these on every day or that I need to <laughs> that I have to wear them. If you look, see this video and you now think this of me wearing a party hat celebrating the fact that I've had these for five years, I hope you rethink your statement. These plastic molds of my legs gave me a part of my life that I did not have. And that was walking. Working legs. I joke around a lot about it. When I was diagnosed with the EDS, there was a question of how many years I could potentially go until I was in a wheelchair because I couldn't handle the pain. Walking a short distance as a 16 year old. I couldn't stop worrying about the pain and I couldn't stop thinking about the pain until I got these. It was just always there. Don't feel bad because this is a part of my life that I look at and I go, it's allowing me to live my life I think it's amazing that I was able to finally get something that helped. Living in that sort of constant pain with my legs, you put all your weight on your legs. Oh, if I stand up, all I'm going to feel is my bones shifting. We found a way for that not to happen. That is how I see it. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was absolutely insane. That's okay. I wanted to do something weird and <laughs> fun. I hope you guys have a good day and a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye!